Hello my dear family members, if you have received the same mail from Virtuosoft for Neural Hackathon for the role of software tester or software developer then this video is for you. Why? Because here we are going to discuss about the eligibility criteria and pattern, packages and roles they are offering, re recent questions, resources, cutoff etc etc. So all the queries will be cleared, answered. So please watch this video till the end. Hey! Now let me discuss what's the expected date of exam that is going to be happened between 12th of October to uh, 18th of October as per the recent update okay so please be prepared soon so that you don't miss anything now let me discuss about the latest pattern packages roles etc etc just before that guys if you have not subscribed this channel yet then please make sure that you have subscribed this channel and watch the playlist regarding any cooper they want and let me know which content do you want more now at first you have to know what are the uh, packages they are offering they are offering for a regular coder 5 lpa and for power coder they are offering 6.5 lpa now you can see the registration is already closed and it has been opened since 12th September okay if you have uh, applied then it's fine if you have not then you have to wait for the next chance now let me discuss about the eligibility criteria that is 65% aggregate across 10th 12th and degree and stream should be B and BTEC from IT, EC, CSE and related branches like data science, AI, ML, cyber security, etc. Okay. So these are the offers they are offering like regular coder, power coder and you can see for these locations they are offering roles offered are software developer and software tester. If you have received for software tester or software developer, it doesn't matter that much. All, mm -hmm. uh, all the processes will be almost same. So let me discuss about the full process up to interview. I'll discuss this full process just before that let me discuss about the full process which was conducted on recent on campus drive on July that was for first round they have conducted uh, they have asked five coding questions two for normal coding a uh, normal regular coder and three for power coder and in the second round round two coding questions there was total three coding questions and two essay or email writing questions and then they have conducted the interview okay and in between they had also conducted the speech or version assessment you don't have to worry about that so this was the whole pattern uh, which was conducted on july on campus drive now let me discuss about the latest questions latest process of neural hackathon at, at first the registration period on of between 12th september to 3rd october then for round one what you will have to face at first speech x assessment this is a communication assessment guys if you have not watching our uh, if you have not been watching our playlist of virtusa then please follow that there already we have uploaded the virtusa speech text assessment live and all the things are there so please go through that it will be helpful for you okay now if you want me to discuss about the speech text assessment there you have to face four to five rounds there you'll have reading sections some uh, sentences will be shown to you you have to read aloud then the repeating sentence around there you will have to hear some voice and remember that then speak aloud that then there will be one grammar round there you have to face article prepositions tense verb related problems and that will be fill in the blanks and the next round will be regarding an uh let, let's say speech assessment so there you have to uh you will have to face two to three topics on that you have to speak okay for 120 seconds i hope you understood so these are all the uh, sections available in speech checks round now your question is what are the sections included in technical assessment now let me discuss that so in technical assessment you will have to face all the all the mcqs from data structure operating system sql my uh, pseudo codes oops concept java code okay so from these you will have to face mcqs okay and also you have to face essay writing questions or email writing questions and analytical ability problem solving grammar and vocabulary numerical ability and reading comprehensions these are the things you have to face and this coding and power coding this will also be there but in the second round okay this is the second round now 
ये दिस इज फॉर दिस इज डिजाइन फॉर डेवलपर एंड फॉर द टेस्टर ऑल्सो द पैटर्न इज ऑलमोस्ट सेम ओके द ओनली चेंजेस यू कैन सी हेयर टू सेक्शन आर इंक्लूडेड दैट इज सेलेनियम ऑटोमेशन एंड मैनुअल टेस्टिंग सो दिज आर द थिंग्स यू हैव टू गिव इम्पॉर्टेंट नाउ द क्वेश्चन इज हाउ टू प्रिपेयर सो If you want to prepare well, then guys, please refer the prime materials available at talkmate.ias/technology.web. Here we have already uploaded all the things you need to prepare for coding round, for MCQs, for interview, for mock test. All the things are included for regular coder, for uh, power coder, for the first round, second round, essay writing, aptitude round. and all the things you need to prepare all are available here right so you can see the feedback of students provided below and all the updated questions are also available so please go through that it will be helpful for you okay now second thing is who are conducting the exam as this is posted in iamneo.ai most probably they are going to conduct the exam but i expect this is not confirmed but what i expect the conductor will be marcer metal okay so please have that mindset if marcer metal is conducting the exam then you have to follow their last year question their recent questions which was held on july okay so please go through those it will be very much helpful if i am new is conducting the exam for virtusa for that as well you can follow the same pattern questions okay so i hope you want to guys now let me discuss about the cut off for each sections what are the uh, difficulties levels of each sections and etc etc so let's say uh, as we have already seen the questions last few months back we have observed the questions are not that much hard okay for each, i mean for power coder the questions are from dsa from dsa but for regular coder the codes are normally from array and string okay so i hope you understood now for analytical reasoning verbal ability numerical ability you can expect the questions uh medium level okay the difficulty level will be medium and for these questions you can follow the last year marcer metal questions it will be very much helpful for you okay now let me discuss about the latest mcq questions for virtusa which will be helpful for both of you software developer and software tester so let me go through those okay please subscribe to techno uf and don't forget to like and share with your friends so data structures so actually i'll share very few questions but you have to guess which patterns are being asked okay so they are from data structure which data structure uses lifo principle last in first out it is very easy so the answer will be stack and for q the answer will be fifo okay first in first out i hope you understood uh, and there is no rocket science to discuss this more so let me go to the next question that is this uh, what is the time complexity of binary search in the worst case so actually this type of questions will be asked like from uh, time complexity uh, let me just share that from time complexity there will be several questions there will be some questions uh, from sorting methods there will be some questions from tree mcqs and linked list obviously stack and queue okay stack and queue so these are the important topics bst okay so i hope you want to okay so here what is the time complexity of binary search in the worst case scenario that is big of log n because in case of binary search what we do uh, if the array is sorted then if we are looking for one element let's say two or three so it will at first check the middle element right uh, if that element the element you are looking for is it greater than the middle one or lesser than the middle one so according to that you will uh, like reduce your middle element and also the left element okay so this way uh, you are searching right so in this case your total like best case scenario is that the middle element is the, uh, the 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 element you are looking for okay so that case the time complexity will be big of 1 okay but worst case scenario will be big of log n okay and in case of uh, linear search tree, linear search what will be the best case scenario that is big of 1 for linear search the 
best case scenario will be we go of one and for linear search the worst case scenario will be we go of n why because in case of uh, binary uh, linear search you have to go through all the element up to that element okay so let's say you are searching for three you are searching for three okay here then you have to traverse from the first element to that element okay so that's why big of n will be the worst case scenario and the best case scenario is that the first element is the element you are looking for okay so that's the thing okay so now let me go to the next question I was also asked like uh, what is the output of the following code following java code so int x is equal to 5 and here we are printing x plus 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 x so post increment and pre increment are implemented here so what will be the output of the following java code 10 11 12 or 13 please give the answer in the comment section okay now let me give the answer the answer will be what so here x is equal to 5 right when the flow of the program is at x it took the number 5 okay now the value for x is 5 now it incremented to 6 okay it incremented to 6 then it is adding plus then here it is again incremented 6 plus 1 that is 7 so here it is 7 now the value of x is 7 so you have to know the value of x okay so what uh, so it is actually equal to 12 what students makes fault that is they do x plus plus that is 6 okay that is 6 plus 6 plus 1 that is 7 okay 7 so they make mistakes here that is they opt for 13 but the correct answer will be 12 so 5 is the value of x as of now so you have to take that then just add this like add a 5 plus 1 6 plus plus 6 plus 1 that is 7 and you have to add that with 5 okay i hope you understood so let me go to the next question that is this from sql so what is sql command is used to remove a table from the database i hope you have that knowledge so why we use delete to delete a row okay to delete a row but the table structure structure will remain same remain same okay but in case of drop it removes full table it removes full table as well as it will remove the structure okay and in case the uh, remove is not a valid keyword okay but truncate in this case it also removes all the rows all the rows but the structure remains same okay so the correct answer will be drop which will remove a table from the database okay so let me go to the next question i hope you understood so this is the next question what is the output of the following sql query select count star from employee where salary is greater than 550000 so this is a very easy question still if you don't have knowledge then please visit uh, sql questions like uh, important sql questions in uh, in internet and please have some knowledge about that okay okay in this case the answer will be the number of employees uh, number of employees count star it reflects the number of employees where the salary is greater than 50,000 okay the option C will be correct answer so I hope you understood so please tick on the option C this is the correct answer okay so now the next question is this what is the main purpose of an OS scheduler this will be a quiz question for you guys so please give the answer in the comment section so this will be a quiz question for you please give the answer in the comment section i'll love if you give a right answer okay so the next question is which scheduling algorithm provides starvation free executions so this is also from um, os operating operating system so you have to give answer accordingly okay so the correct answer will be fcfs first come first serve this is like scheduling algorithm provides starvation free executions okay
So the next question is which protocol is used for secure communication over HTTP? Yeah, this is very easy one. So hypertext markup language, sorry, um, hypertext transfer protocol. So this is not a secure one. So to make it more secure, we use hypertext transfer protocol secure. So I hope you understood. And you have to know what FTP do does and what SMTP does, what TCP does, uh, so that uh, then the questions can be different. Like uh, what FTP does, what SMTP does, right? So SMTP is for sending mails. FTP for transferring files. Okay. So this way you have to remember which protocol have which functions. Okay. Okay. So the next question will be what does dns stand for this is a very easy question so the answer will be mm, domain name system okay domain name system and if you have a little knowledge about in networking then you must know the answer okay so the next question is if a function is called recursively five times how many times is it stored in the call stack so actually the answer let's say you are calling a function recursively okay let's say you are calling the function recursively five times okay so how many times it is stored in the call stack it is actually stored five times okay so it is what you have to remember okay and the next question is this what is the output print three into three double start two what is the answer okay you have to know the uh, the principles of precedence okay which have much precedence so double star it has more precedence okay so that's why this should be calculated first then this okay three double star that means exponential two so that will be nine and nine into three that will be 27 so the answer will be option b okay so i hope you understood guys actually this type of questions will be asked so guys if you want to get more questions more solutions more coding questions technical questions interview questions mock tests then please visit topmate.io slash technology web and grab the opportunity like just visit part of full preparation materials and have it okay so thank you